Now it's come to my attention, hello beautiful, about a uh, little debate that's been going on on Facebook and YouTube about the Durango. As you can see, I have a 2016 Dodge Durango SXT Black Top Edition. Um, I absolutely love her. She's a great vehicle, very dependable. But I've done a few things to her. Just to give you guys an idea, starting from the back. You can tell I've got exhaust, but not just exhaust. I've got full exhaust. And I don't mean a $1,200, $1,500 Corsa or Borla. I'm talking about a custom bent and built two and three quarter inch H pipe setup. Two and three quarter inch piping with a three inch H pipe. Now, besides that, just so I can show you guys here. So under the hood, I've got a engine technologies cold air intake setup. I've got an 80 millimeter MMX throttle body setup. I've got a Mopar Performance high flow water pump. Um, got a Bosch mass airflow sensor. Um, I also use Mobile One 5W30 extreme performance synthetic oil. Um, and to give you guys an idea, and again, the microphone might not be able to pick it up too well, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a start for you guys. Again, it's not necessarily going to be a cold start, but... Let's see if I can do this for you guys. Now granted, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to really hear that because of the microphone on my cell phone, but if you guys can tell, I'm also getting over 23 miles per gallon. Let me go and lower the windows. And thanks to that Mopar High Performance water pump, she always stays nice and cool. But, let's see if you guys can hear it as I drive around. So that way you can get an idea of what it sounds like.
And yes, that's uh, those are my real gas mile per gallon numbers. It's not me resetting it. I'm going 234 miles and still at 23.1 miles per gallon. And that's with me kind of driving like an asshole and also kind of, I would say 20% like an asshole, 80% conservative. As you can tell, I'm about to hit the 80, the 80K mark. Yeah, she does. sport mode and stomping it dropped myself right under 23 but uh, as you can tell on the top corner my overall average is still 22.3 and that includes a few drag races I did with uh, about 10 different uh, V6 Durangos um, couple of weeks ago in Orlando um, in a way I hold the unofficial title of the fastest naturally aspirated non-nitrous Penistar Durango in Central Florida and if not most of Florida I have yet to uh, meet a Pentastar Durango that has been able to beat me. Um, and I don't mean those that have ripped superchargers or throw nitrous in them. Um, also, I'm not trying to compare myself to Pentastar Challengers or Chargers, but for 6,000, nearly 6,000 pound SUV, she does all right. my Durango not only do I think it is the sexiest vehicle when I say vehicle that's cars SUVs trucks but I just don't think it's sexier especially when you look at that back end who boy she's dependable She's gas efficient. Even with everything I've done, I'm still getting, right now, according to this tank of gas, 22.7. And that's, I was over 23 before I threw her in sport mode and drove like an ass for a moment. But, uh... You know... It's a good truck. I have no complaints. 
Well, of course, at 50K when the uh, typical water pump situation happened, that's when I chose to just take and get my own instead of just doing the factory warranty and having to replace it with just a regular one since I knew I was going to be doing stuff to my Durango. But, uh, yeah, she's a great truck. I love her. And also, something else I've heard from lots of people, um, why is it the new 2021s, their backup cameras, uh, look like complete shit? Um, my 2016, and again, this is just coming through my cell phone, um, is really clear to the point that, uh, my sister, who, uh, has, uh, I believe it's an Infiniti QX60, the big body Infiniti SUV, um, which you would think for a, what, $90,000 SUV, would have a, a clearer backup camera. Um, it does not. Like, it really does not. So, and I love that I got the Alcantara in mine. Wish I had the stitching, of course, you know, which is something I might do later, but what gets everyone is that I went ahead and debadged mine. So when I go to shows people are always wondering, well, what kind of Durango do you have? And yes, I know if you know your Durangos that the front end with the grill does kind of give it away, but uh, yeah, she's she's quick. I'm not saying she's fast. I'm not gonna you know, go trying to race 392s, which I did the other day and kind of got my ass handed to me, but She's quick, she's sexy, she's reliable, and uh, for the money, I don't think there's anything better you can get. So, um, you know, and I went with the H-Pipe for a few reasons. Um, first reason, I wanted to be different. Second reason... Um, You know, from what I've heard, uh, you get better sound and more growl from an H-pipe over an X-pipe. Again, I'm not saying that's factual. I'm just saying what I've heard from a few mechanics and a few exhaust people. Um, but uh, I love her. And the decision to go with two and three quarter inch piping with a three inch H pipe, no mufflers, no resonator, which guys, if you have a Durango, at least get rid of that resonator. It is literally 30 inches long and you lose so much horsepower. Even if you get rid of that and keep your stock tips, you'll notice a significant gain and I'm not saying uh, I've checked on a dyno, but you'll feel a 10 to 15 horsepower difference. You'll notice that she is peppier, quicker in acceleration. Um, I've taken my Durango all the way up to 130 miles an hour where she's governor restricted. Um, but I absolutely love her. I wouldn't trade her for the world. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Let me know if you think there's anything else I should do. Um, I've thought of Pedal Commander, but uh, from what I've understood, since, uh, you know, the GT Durangos and uh, my Durango, um, again, I have the SXT Blacktop Edition, um, have the Sport Mode button, um, and we're also able to control our driving stiffness, you know, into Sport, Comfort, or Normal. Um... Pedal Commander does pretty much the same thing as the sport button. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to waste two, three, four hundred dollars on that. Um, 
I think my next step after this is going to be a full set of headers. Um, and I'm thinking about removing my catalytic converters. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And uh, thanks for watching my video.